those splatter heads, uh, mostly Derek from Stop Skeletons from Fighting, he's probably going to watch this video. Uh, yeah, Splatterhouse 2010, why not? I, I don't even know. I saw it in my game case and I was like, eh, I feel like playing this. All right, so I got the regular Terra mask. It's just plain old vanilla in the box Rick. But then I got the stupid Xbox 360 console exclusive. <laughs> It's so dumb, but it's amazing at the same time. I don't know. Should I put a poll? Is there any chance? There's no time. To, there's, I'm being told. Yeah. No, I'm being told there's no time for a poll. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, Xbox 360 dumbass. Make a wish. Okay. I want us to be together until the end of the world. Oh, that's sweet. So, God, there's a lot to talk about with Splatterhouse 2010, and I did a what happened on this game, but, like, my own personal thing is, like, there's so much going on in this game that's great, that's got a lot of love and care, and then there's so many parts of it that don't. Like, this FMV is incredible! The story is done in such a fun way that you wouldn't expect for something like this. The voice acting's really good. You I took your girl, Rick. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh. He took your dreams. And he took your life. Dr. Henry West, MD. He took it all. Only thing you got left is your soul. Yeah, put on your Xbox 360 mask, fucker. Who am I? Let's just say I'm God. Your God. At least the only God that's listening right now. What do I want? Uh, same as any god. Little faith. Gotta but without have faith. faith, I am nothing. And without me, you're fucked. She does. Oh, uh, like, I'm die. not sure you can see if his intestines were flopping out you. there. Oh, shit. I can heal your wounds. We can save her. If you show me some faith, if you trust me, if you put me. You on. got a creepy talking Xbox 360 mask. <laughs> This video is probably going to get demonetized because of all the uh, red stuff. Oh, we're going to Hulk up, brother! He's on the juice! He's literally on the juice! Oh, quit whining! Did I say it was going to be <laughs> He's fun? got a drug door arm on You're going to have to learn to love the pain. There's a lot more of it to come. That's really good dialogue, too. Like, it's pulpy. You know, schlocky dialogue, but it works so well. What am I? What am I? You're mine, Rick. Oh, collectible photos. Until back safe in your arms. You're mine. I sure hope Jenny leads erotic photos for me. Phase one, Satan's mask. Like, that's awesome. That's a great, like, vignette for the level. What's happened to me? To us. You're wearing me, I'm in uh, you. We're a team. I don't remember the game looking you like this. Get what I want, and I it's very you bright. Get your girl back. Oh, wait, because it starts off with the crazy on? filter. So, here's the thing with this game. I want to talk about this. This game starts off very poorly in terms of gameplay. I mean, it, it actually... The game gets better and then worse way, way later, but it's the middle portion that actually shines. But the start of it's real rough. Let's go kill something. It's been too long, and I'm way out of Like, practice. starting off with rage mode is just weird. Oh, God, this is so bright. Let me turn that down. Sorry, everybody. All right, slightly better, but yeah, this rage mode puts everything kind of in black and white, or white and blue, I guess. Um, and everything is, is done like this, so the blood gets highlighted. It's kind of going for a Mad World effect, but... You know, it, it's whatever. We have to just get through this bit. You never forget your first. All right. Okay. Good. Oops. Too much for I you. I killed like eighty bad guys the there. So fragile. God, I wish there was a big Xbox 360 logo carved into his chest. So dope. What does the PS3 one look like? I assume it's the same. It just it's just red, and it has no games. Well, somehow I don't believe you. And somehow I don't care. <laughs> Believe what you want. <laughs> so, 
I want to talk about that because that's a great part of this game. It's this talking dialogue with the mask. You know, very Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. I think, you know, if you're going to have like a crazy hero character in this wild fantasy like setting, horror fantasy more specifically, and he has someone to talk to, it keeps the uh, bits, uh, the the connective bits hallways to the game a little bit more interesting because we're actually talking about stuff and you're learning some lore. This is another good thing about this game. So just talking about gameplay really really quickly, light hits, big hits if you want to like do some damage to singular enemies. Uh, we have a grab, we have a jump, you can do a charged jump attack like that. Uh, hold RB and then just move the control sticks. You have this nice little dodge. It's a great dodge. There's going to be uh, some other gameplay stuff that's going to come up uh, with the uh, blood meter, I guess. We do get other special moves and stuff, but your weapons are very temporary. So yeah, you can charge up Y strikes as you're doing combo. Uh, so it sort of kind of winds up like that and it slows down a little bit. That's a cool thing. Very aura aura. Now, if you press this, that's what this does. Now, that is dependent on every enemy in the game, like every variant has their own thing like that, uh, their own special kill animation. Um, some of them go on way, way too long. I know this game was way before Doom's Glory Kills, but Doom's Glory Kills were how to do that right. They're quick, but they're brutal, whereas these are long and they're brutal. Most of them, in fact. And that you have to do a QTE, and sometimes, because the graphics are so flashy, and you have these two bright character models, it's actually hard to see the QTEs sometimes. Like, right there, like... It's a bunch of visual overload. This is something I wish they had changed just a little bit. Just a little bit of tinkering with that system. Um, I think it would have made it a lot better. And we have to talk about this. This fucking battle damage on Rick. It looks so metal. I love his character model in general. I know some people don't because it's very Fred Dursty like rap rock. I don't know. Shut up. Look at this. Um, it's very much like the same tech that was used in um, uh, the X-Men Origins Wolverine game, Uncaged Edition. Yes, first weapon. Get a load of this thing, huh? It's a board with a nail in it! So, like I said before, weapons, that's great. That no, Now, that works because that's in the original Splatterhouse games, and that's only in the original Splatterhouse games because it was an Evil Dead. Uh, stuff things on the wall, just like going nuts, having a party, because it's a good time what's happening on screen. So yeah, like I said, uh, weapons are temporary. Um, I think this breaks after a while. I'm not sure if there's an indi- I can't remember now if there's an indicator, like it starts flashing. So we can go through our moves. Basically, it's just a bunch of heavy metal band names like More Cushion for Pushin', Scent of Flesh, The Tenderizer, Thrash you up, meat sack slam, demon dunk, devil symphony, scent of death, double fisting, infected hammer, twisted hammer, your face, my fist, bring the hammer down, crowd surf, meat shot, call to arms, stretching necks, pimp hands. <laughs> uh, what else is there? Whoa, okay, don't look, kids. I forgot one of your main collectibles. I wasn't lying before for those that are not, uh, you know, aware of this game. Your girlfriend leaves nice photos of herself to inspire you to save her. Uh, so now that I'm uh, realizing that this, I'm actually working off an old save uh, on this, like, 360 console. Did this come out on PC? I don't think it did. And if it did, it'd be cool people could mod it. I find that there's not enough blood in the game, you know? So this is our first big bad where these guys can't actually beat you. Uh, I think I have to work my way back up to him, but cause yeah, you know? Yeah, okay, so th this will heal up. Just give it a second. There's some devil maker, there it is. Now nice, got a nice bone arm. Love it. So it's weird because a lot of the creature design in original Splatterhouse games... Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm good, I'm good. There's, like, Namco owns this. It's not like... Okay, uh, th there is heavy metal songs in this thing, so maybe that's an issue. Um, maybe they have to, like, pay them again for that. I, I don't know. That could be a reason why, for all I know. But at the end of the day, I, 
Namco owns this fucking game, this 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 franchise. It would be pretty awesome if they would just I don't know, put it online for people to download and spend money on if they so wish again. Like I like this was a sales disaster. This did not sell well at all. Uh, I, I know that for a fact, and it's sad. But like you know, it is what it is. So at the end of the day, what's what's really gonna harm by like giving it a second shot, just making it available on PS4, Steam, and Xbox One? I, I, I there's no re there's no reason not to. You know, if the, if the ladies don't find you handsome, might as well find you handy. I love the animation here. It's like pretty expressive. It reminds me of time splitters a little bit. Oh, that's too expressive. Jesus. Yeah, he's a crazy doctor, you see. Yeah, that's so pulpy, that shot. I love it. So. Here are the loading screens of Splatterhouse. Now, I installed this on my Xbox 360 from the disc. I don't think they help the game too much. The doll that bled. Well, that wasn't too bad, actually. And here we have a 2D section of the game. Now, this is another point of contention for some people, because this this stuff I found when I was playing this, when it was new, that this, it, like, jumping there's all the all the collision is off all the hitboxes and whatever are off you it, this stuff is not especially polished it's a little jank feeling um i i don't know i i their heart was in the right place and we have this charming fellow hello are you that one weird vampire from blade like the movie oh shit like i hope you don't do anything to me as I'm under your little cage there. Okay, good. Going back in time, back in time. Um, I also switched to the classic terror mask. Uh, I think there is some splatter has peers have been angry if I, uh, you know, let my Xbox 360 fanboy bias show up. Where you look like you're having fun. I can have fun. Hello? Anyone here? We have fun. Look, I got us tickets for that concert at the Arkham Bowl tomorrow, didn't I? You betcha. Shadow over Arkham rocks through the solar eclipse. Arkham. Tell me yep. about backstage passes too, and I'll marry you right now. So yeah, the a bit more of the back, like not the backstory, but like the front story, Phase I guess. That F and V gets dulled out in little abyss. pieces. Oh, we gotta go back, Doc. Take it steady. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You okay? Yeah. Good. Because dead, you're useless to me. You just came out of the warp. It's a portal. How did you get through all the chaos gods of the warp and not get all fucked up? I guess you are already. Could be the past. Could be another world. That's the thing about hijacking a portal. It's a crapshoot. So they kind of figured you can't be stuck in the mansion all the time, which is a little weird. I don't know. I would have liked a forest section. Now, we get thrown around to different parts of reality, which is... I don't know how I feel about them, because some of the areas then just feel a little, like, out of place. It's a strange balance. I don't think they quite did it. This this takes short work of most enemies, and you only need... I think you need a pip of your blood meter to do it. I mean, let me look at it again. Yeah, it's one pip, so you have, like, a, you have a bunch. And for those asking, yes, you can launch enemies. Uh, just by doing that combo, you just charge up your uh, Y hit. You can do some stuff. It's not like a lot, but it's it's all right. Holy crap! Another thing that I remember Derek said in his uh, video on Spider House back when he was doing uh, the uh, Happy Video Game Nerd is that this game is better on like New Game Plus after you've like unlocked all the moves or um you know most of them and whatever, um, and, and it's more fun that way. And I kind of agree. Like I said, this is like my old save, and I uh, I'm pretty powered up actually. Just, just, just walking through geometry, huh? That's cool. I do that too. You're just gonna walk right through that uh, wooden thing, right? You're cool. Playing this again, this, this 
even though I like this way more than Bionic Commando 2009 on, on the 360 and PS3, it's very similar where it's like this has a hardcore niche fan base, as did Bionic Commando. But Bionic Commando did rearm so well with a very small budget and you know, try to mo slightly modernize the old school 2D take. But like the big console version of that was a massive failure from a bunch of different metrics. And this was too, unfortunately as well. If they had made just like at least a complimentary deal, like downloadable, like Xbox arcade PSN game, that was this, like we could have at least look back on that and be like, oh, well that, that one was pretty strong. Just like Bionic Commando rearmed one and two. But because they were like, oh, we need a big console version of this and we need it to be even edgier. And they spent tons of money on both and they both failed. Like, it's just it's just kind of sad. I like those tentacles. Big fan of tentacles. Wrap me around that. Ooh. <laughs> You know, the, the lines really, really make a lot of the game. Like, it gives it so much more personality than if it didn't have them at all. And because they're written fairly well to, like, you know, pretty great, even, like, action game dialogue, like, standards, it's still just entertaining to hear. And when the game gets repetitive towards the end, especially since some levels are, like, big slogs, it really helps out. So I have to break this wall and get rid of uh, the Lovecraftian horror upstairs. Because these guys are like almost invincible. Now that it buffed them, I completely forgot about this enemy encounter. <laughs> hey, you hear about Aww, that Eclipse precious Rock memories. Festival the Aw, she's Get so cute. Get two tickets for it and you'll be my hero forever. No, before in the other cutscene you said you're going to marry me right there. You want to come Aww. with me to the West Mansion? Aww, Aww that's wholesome. so sweet. You're going to protect me. No, I'm going to get my ass fucking rocked. Phase four, the meat factory. Wow. <laughs> we were literally in a shit sewer before. This thing, huh? Break it open. So we'll be ending off with this with this level because this has a boss fight that is of particular note. Now, I like these kind of Silent Hill camera angles a little bit, but when it's combat time, as, as you do, um, it's sometimes a little bit hard to get enemies and get a beat on them, but, you know, what can you do? What the hell is that? Here we go! It's nothing. It's nothing. Just a trick of the light. <laughs> I'm so sick of my sleep paralysis demon showing up when he's not invited. Oh, Jesus, this bit. Grab an enemy. Put him over there. Walk towards the impalement chairs. No, walk the. Okay, there you go. Yeah. There, there is almost the exact same kill somewhere in Mad World, I think. And now they go on a fun ride. It's fun, you guys. It's fun. That's just that's microwave ya. All right, still still trying to do this section. Do not like these stampers at all. All right, don't think about Castlevania on, on Netflix. It's not the time right now. Don't get distracted. As far as I know, there's no checkpoints on these levels at all. So if you do die in any of these one hit kill, like, uh, oh my God. All right, let's do like, what is this one? This is a weird one. I don't even really understand it. Okay, sure. At least he slid. At least he had his leggy moment there. Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm referencing. There is a shotgun. Let's pick that up in the traditional Fred Durst style. Everyone runs at the sound of a shotgun. In my neighborhood, everybody's got one. A nice little send up to the original games as well because you did very rarely get a shotgun. Right, so I hear some music now. Please, for the fuck's sake, whatever band this is, just be a nice band. Don't be one of those bands. I'll, I'll push up, I'll get the other shotgun too, why not? And push that elevator button. <laughs> That's a great shot. 
is what we train for, Rick. Watch out! It's very hard to miss a chainsaw! It couldn't be any closer to you. And a double one at that! There we go. This is Biggie Man. Wait, wait, wait. Um, one of the uh, classic guy. bosses from the original yeah, games. Screwed. Don't know how much ammo this shotgun has, but I hope it's way more than I'm gonna need. Alright, well. That should help. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot that he had a little 2D section to start off with. No, you don't kill her! No. You will touch my Jennies! My J Wow! Look who's back. Okay, that's fine. Show him why we call it. Biggie Man, Splatter super cool design. This is probably like one of the best boss fights in the game, actually, because a lot of the other ones are just big, huge monsters, like a bunch of tentacles, or like there's a weird doll that uh, that I skipped. Um, and I, I can't remember the final boss fight. I remember it being all right, the final boss fight, but Biggie Man is like the fucking star of the show. So this is a kill, because it involves a chainsaw. It's a war! No! See, they knew. They knew they had to make this this fight special. I saw a comment on Twitter when I posted up some Spider House uh, concept art. It's like, I want more games where I'm the monster. This girl of yours. Jen. You once told her you'd love her until the end of the world. <laughs> of the world is coming. Ah! Biggie Man didn't do anything wrong. Alright, I think with Biggie Man we'll end on Splatterhouse. And going back to this, I, I said it before, this, this still is fun to play. It's just so unpolished in little areas that kind of hold it back. But there's so much love in the, like the 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 cutscenes, the um, the dialogue, the the voice acting, the story, and the general gameplay is still fun. It's just you know like you know I, I think I said it or I think one of the developers said it in the um, in my what happened episode is that they just had a few more months. It could have been a really good game if they had to iron out all the kinks and polish it up some, so that's a shame. Any other splatterific games that might get me demonetized you guys want to suggest? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do for you.